I had a friend with a name Elin. She has a sister with a name Nina. I think that Nina is her little sister, but I'm not quite sure. And since this person is present in my surroundings with this name Elin, that suggests that I should have a sister with a name Nina, which might be my little sister. Also, my non-biological mother has a friend with a name Nina. This Nina has a son with the name Kim. And I think that uh, Kim Jong-un is uh, the brother of my biological uh, grandfather. And therefore, I might have a great uh, grandmother with the name uh, Nina. Also, I have a sister with the name Kim. But I think that Kris Jenner is the biological mother of uh, Kim Kardashian. I have an aunt with the name Kim, which is the sister of Jennifer Aniston, and maybe they have a biological mother with the name Nina. My earlier friend Elin has a sister with the name Nina, so who is Nina? The name Nina is very similar to the name of my twin Anna. And maybe that is their main reason for having this name. But I think that there is more to this story. I think that Nina is supposed to represent Nina Dubrev. And lately she has been very visible on my FRU page on TikTok. So I'm like, is this a sign that I should talk about it? Or is this a sign that I should not talk about this? But here is the thing, even though certain people will get more power, the power is just distributed. Otherwise they do not necessarily have a higher amount of uh, total power. And uh, describing who is my sisters or brothers is kind of important to explain uh, the dynamics in uh, the celebrity world. A reason why I understood that Nina Dubrev is my biological sister is because of uh, video which appeared on my For You page on TikTok in February where she looks like uh, Merkit, Ashley and Elizabeth Olsen. Or she looks more like Elizabeth Olsen in this video. So here is this video. She was born with the name Nicolina, which becomes uh, Nina if you remove some of the letters. Nina is 169 centimeters. The height of 169 centimeters is the height of my biological uncle Hans Christian. That suggests uh, that she is uh, my biological half-sister on my biological mother's side because of her appearance and uh, that she is my biological cousin on my biological father's side because of her height. And since Hans Christian is the biological father of Elisabeth Olsen, that means that Nina Dubrev and Elisabeth Olsen shares two biological parents. Nina is born in 1989, which means that she is my little sister. The biological mother and father of Nina Dobrev looks very different, which means that uh, they can look very different and still be siblings. Even though genetics seems to prioritize uh, the appearance of uh, your biological mother or the appearance of your biological father, it could also be that uh, each uh, distance in your facial structure is uh, a combination of uh, that distance in the face of your mother and that distance in the face of your father. So that if one of your biological parents has a smaller 
head shape and one of your biological parents has a bigger head shape and you become a combination of both of them you're not going to look like any of them Nina Dobrev has a brother with the name Alexander which is probably not her biological brother when I was younger one of my neighbors had the name Alexander his little brother had the name Frederick well, his uh, mother and father had the name Marianne and Martin. I have a biological brother and a biological uncle with the name Martin. In addition, uh, this neighbor had the last name Jensen, which is the biological last name of my biological half-brothers. And uh, the name Marianne is appearing a lot. We lived in a house with four apartments and uh, two of my neighbors had the name Marianne. I have a biological father with the name Frederick. Therefore, this suggests that my biological father has a big sister or a big brother with the name Alexandra or Alexander. Just like my neighbor with the name Frederick. A woman or a man with this name Alexandra or this name Alexander, which is my biological aunt or my biological uncle. Christopher Skev which is assumed to be my biological uncle, has a brother with the name Alexander, which is probably not his biological brother. I went to high school with a boy with the name Alexander. I went to college with a boy with the name Alexander. And I worked within the engineering company ABLE with a man with the name Alexander. What I mean by saying high school is the Norwegian word videregående. And someone gave me an assignment with Alexander Fleming in college. My biological aunt Cecilia Skog is or was together with Alexander Gamme. All of these people with his name Alexander are boys or men and not girls or women. And since my biological uncle Christopher Skev has a brother with the name Alexander, I think that I have a biological uncle with the name Alexander. And since Nina Dubrev has a brother with the name Alexander, and I have a biological uncle with the name Alexander, that suggests that I also have a biological aunt with the name Nina. My earlier friend Elin has a sister with the name Nina and that suggests that I have an aunt with the name Elin. So who is Elin? This could be the Norwegian actor Elin song because she kind of look like my biological aunt Ragnhild. Is it close enough in appearance? Maybe? I don't know. My biological aunt Ragnhild is a skankestrand. Elin's song has three names, and two of these names start with a S, which could represent Skankestrand. Elin's song was born in Belfast, North Ireland, and I did not find any heights for Elin's song. So, who is Alexander? I do not know who this person with this uh, name Alexander is and who is supposed to be my uncle. But since you people seem to be so occupied with this person with this name Alexander, this could be a smart and sensitive person which is not visible for the official world. And uh, this person with this name Alexander 
which I went to college together with. He has this name Skorgen, which is very similar to the last name of Anita Skorgan, which is assumed to be the biological cousin of my biological father. And the reason why these people I have met have this name Alexander could be because they are biological family, and biological family named themselves based on biological family. When I was younger, one of my neighbors had the name Alexander. His little brother had the name Frederick, while his uh, mother and father had the name Marianne and Martin. But Frederick is also the name of my biological grandfather on my father's side.